So this is a new film by Luca Guadagnino. Sorry, there's going to be a lot of pronouncing names in this section. (laughs) Um, So it's been doing the rounds of festivals. There's a little bit of Oscar talk as well. It's based off the book um, published in 2007 by Andre Asiman. And it's about 17-year-old Elio, played by Timothée Chalamet, who's this very cultured, very smart boy who lives with his Italian and American parents in a beautiful, rustic town in Italy. And the parents have an academic house guest every summer. And that brings the arrival of Army Hammer's Oliver, who is a 24-year-old American. And between them, this relationship starts to slowly blossom. And this film very much has the texture of like a memoir. You know these memoirs that you read by the great intellects of our time? And it's all very languid and rosy and nostalgic. And it's all about some intellectual and sexual awakening. And I think we'll, we'll play a clip and you can see what I mean. Uh, Look at this. Uh, Good morning, Professor. Good morning. From the dead. Was I out that long? It seemed like it. How, how are you? I, uh, well, rested now. Thank oh, you. Glad. Would you like some of my espresso? I would love some. Thank you very much. This looks amazing. I didn't take your seat, did I? Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Please. Did you, did you recover from your trip? Uh, I did, yeah. Big time. Thank you. Okay. I can show you around. That'd be great. Thank you. Is there a... Is there a bank in town? I'd love to start an account while I'm here. Oh, I'm an asset from Sorry. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> None of our residents has ever had a local bank account. Really? Mm. Mm. Should I take them to Montaudier? I think they're closed for summer vacation. You try uh, Crema. Crema? Grazie. Is this your orchard? These are Anello's trees. Oh, wow. Pesca, ciliegie, albicocche. Mm. Pomegranate, melograno. So as you can hear from that, just the dialogue, it's like the dream of European culture. And in that sense, just the film is beautiful to relish in, just sit down and just, it's like stepping into a jacuzzi. Can, just can, I, can I just down. say about that clip, but maybe it's 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 the Goldblum effect. He just sounded like Jeff Goldblum to me. Everyone sounds like Jeff Goldblum to you now. <laughs> That's it. <I'm> sorry, <laughs> this is it. Now everyone around you are going to go outside. Everyone sounds like Jeff Goldblum. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure I would agree on that. But um, yeah, so it, it's this very languid and very sensual movie and the camera angles especially create this incredible level of intimacy um it strikes this mood between observation and virism almost so you're looking out of windows um, from like a top floor window looking down or you're looking through doorways and it's always peering at things from a distance and it's strange because almost immediately when the film starts you you feel the intimacy without the characters having even met and Um, I think as well, what really, really struck me about this film, which I've not really seen other people talk about, so this might just be me, but it's a coming of age story that also seems to interrogate the idea of the coming age story because Elio, as a 17 year old, has this obsession that he's not good enough for Oliver, that Oliver makes him smarter. And just because Oliver is more experienced, he's a little bit older, he's seen more of the world, he's more traveled. And I think this movie really questions that attitude in a way. And that's where the title comes in, Call Me By Your Name. And there's a line that's, call me by your name and I'll call you by... What was it? Call me by your name and I'll call you by yours. So it's the idea that they're on an equal. It's a very equal relationship, but they're both under the illusion that there's an inferior and a superior. And it all comes down to this very beautiful, beautiful speech at the end by Michael Stuhlbarg, who plays the dad and... It's just, it's a two minute long speech and it's almost like he's staring dead into camera at you and it feels like he's speaking to you directly and it's just a speech about being open and being open to the world and what really pure, pure love feels like in that not everyone in the world gets to feel that level of pure love and yeah, I was weeping, weeping by the end of it. Just, it did feel like he was speaking to me and telling me that everything will be okay which was nice. I think I needed it. 